Good evening, and welcome to episode four of our Crafting the Bifrost series. Uh, so we're going to start this episode by going to the dungeon vendor. And I looked it up, and it's now just a single vendor, which is why he was rather uh, inconspicuous. I was wondering what that door was next to him, but that's actually part of his icon, it looks like. I'm like, is there a dungeon there? I don't remember there being a dungeon there. The only dungeon here is Fractals of the Mist, which is... Is that through this portal now? It is. They made a brand new portal for it. Right in the center of the plaza. Good old Fort Mariner. I guess these go to the cities now? Yeah, New Lion's Arch is still disorienting to me. Okay, so is he in here? No, he's next to here. What's that place? Ah, the Vigil, okay. Alright, so here's this guy. Dungeon armor and weapons. Um, I actually don't want either. I want the... And we opens from a raw. I don't actually want a weapon. I want a gift of Zaitan. You can also get sigils and some cool weapons, but I don't want to buy any of these packs. There's actually a lot of weapons here. Are there different skins? Dragon's Deep? Yeah, they're all Dragon's Deep. Are there really that many weapons in the game? Uh, okay, I see dagger. Do I see another dagger? I do. There's dagger, dragon's deep. Oh, it's the different stack combinations. That's what it is. Okay. That explains it. What is offering of Zaitan? Not sure. Not going to find out, because we only have 501 of these things. So, I'm going to buy a gift of Zaitan used to create legendary weapons. Perfect. And there we go. Keep that handy, because I worked very hard for that guy. Oh, three times knowledge. Very cool. All right, so now that that's done, we are going to head to a crafting station, and I'm going to go to Radasum, because that's my favorite place to craft. Everything is nice and convenient and efficient, which uh, is just like an Asura, so they designed the city well. And we're going to head to... Uh, I want to say it's actually... No, it's the Artificer Station. Okay. Because if you remember at the end of the last episode, we got all those recipes... And I believe I now have the mats for all those. I have 35 spirit wood planks and 10 Lonian leather squares. Again, these are things where it would have been a little cheaper if I had waited 35 days and made one a day. And actually, I had. I have been making them the last couple of days, and I've had friends making me a couple of them as well. But uh, I still need to buy quite a few of them. But that's okay, because it uh, wouldn't be a legendary, or wouldn't be a precursor if it wasn't a little costly. So let's see if I can figure out now what those recipes were that we got. Um, I believe we have, first of all, a, uh, legendary inscription. Where are my inscriptions? Is them? Inscriptions, okay. So, is it just called legendary inscription? Uh... Alright, I don't see it, so let me just look this up real quick to make sure I'm on the late, right track. The inscription. There we go. And... Yep, 450 Artificer. Alright, I guess it's just... Did I miss it? Did I look right over it? Is it here somewhere? Um, I guess I could also just look at... Uh, what does it make? Um... It's used to make the legend experiment, which would be a staff, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a staff. But let's just find staves. Scepters. There it is. Okay. And should we call it the legend experiment? Maybe. Did I do something? Did I not consume the recipe? Uh, no, I did have this left, but I don't have I could hardly function at all yesterday. the recipe because I already consumed it. Alright. Right Why am I not seeing it? Alright. Oh, legend? Okay, there's its own category. That's why. Alright. That explains it. Alright, so here's what we're making. This is the culmination of the first of the three tiers. So... We already have this. This is the one we got from doing that collection last episode. Legendary inscription. I need to make an oracle plated dowel. And good. I have plenty of stuff for that. 
And here we go. So the only expensive part here really is the Elonian leather squares. These are a little pricey, but not, not bad compared to the 10 Elonian. That's like 100 gold right there. Especially if you bite off the trading post. All right, and then of course these cost a lot of spirit wood planks. The other one costs 25 for the staff. Um, memories of battle you get from Ruby World and Shards of Glory you get from SPVP. But because I haven't done much SPVP before, besides the uh, Zaitan track I just did, and because I did most of my Ruby World way before 4.0, or 4.0, way before Heart of Thorns, um, I ended up just buying these off the trading posts. So thank the uh, the five gods that they are not account bound, because that would have me really annoyed if I would have to spend like two weeks grinding both forms of PVP. All right. And let's make the shaft. And now we should have our four pieces. Let's craft the legend experiment. Nice and slow. Makes it feel important. All right, there we go. We have the skin for it. We unlocked um, the new collection. And we have mail. Hail, mighty crafter! I would like to congratulate you on your initial successes in creating your legendary weapon. It may not seem like much, an experimental creation. From it, you can build your legendary precursor and eventually your mighty legendary weapon itself. Your journey is far from over. The next collection on your journey has been unlocked. Check it out to see where your quest takes you next. Yours in legend, Grandmaster Craftsman Hobbs. Alright, very cool. Yeah, they send that there as a way of kind of pointing you in the right direction in case you forget what to do. So... Let's look at our collections again. Um, collection. Legendary weapons. And there it is. The Bifrost 2. So we already have one of them. We have the Legend Experiment. And I believe you actually need... Yeah, salvage this weapon to receive its spirit. You need to craft the next tier of its of this Legendary Precursor. And it's Berserker, which is interesting. I think the real legend is actually uh, Soldiers. I think. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. Um, but I thought all precursor weapons were soldiers. Alright, so... Um, looks like we're going to have to talk to a lot of Master Artificers, or a Master Artificer. And a new build is available, so that means my game is probably going to restart in a bit. But that's okay, because I'm going to uh, cut the episode and do a new one anyway. Let's... can we equip this? Might as well, right? It's count bound, yeah, sure. Um, Maybe it's not a bad staff. It's not quite as good as my Ascended one, but it's an exotic, so let's see what it looks like. It's actually pretty boring looking, but that makes sense. It's only a, a tier one weapon. Oh, <laughs> this little cruddy bend stick. I kind of like that, actually. You're starting with this this little pitiful thing here is one day going to be my legendary staff, the Bifrost. Wait and see. All right, but yeah, I am going to end this episode... Um, I will restart the game to get the new build, or I'll wait 10 minutes and then I'll do it. Uh, and then when we come back, we will begin working on the second Bifrost Legendary Collection. I'll see you then.